Kamagawa here and welcome to this Minecraft 1.17 Skyblock, Skyblock Survival Guide Skyblock, uh, I can't talk And today guys, the last time we built that mob farm Today we're gonna first uh, fix up the tiniest little bits with it that we uh, did wrong And I think then we're going to fancify our base a little bit more uh, But for now, first task is, I don't know if you recall but if you watched the last episode, and if you didn't, go watch it. We uh, dropped a block of dirt, but we put it in the chest there. We're gonna go and put that back first of all. And then chop down some trees, I think. And some other bits like that. And uh, we don't have tons of resources, and we don't have the best tools, and we don't have anything like that yet. There are things here that we can't touch, such as this pillar, this grass spreading mechanism, and things like that. Um, but what I'm thinking is we're going to make a nice little platform for us anyway. Uh, try and move the the uh, tree farm and try and move the uh, cobble generator and try and move our stuff to somewhere sensibler. Whee! Scary stuff, always scary. And remember now that the mob farm is not boxed in. So, uh, yeah, we can't, there, there shan't, there shouldn't be any mobs there. There can be, I guess, some, better look, don't think so though. I'm gonna go in this way, we can. That's all, it's all right. And so, yeah, there needs to be trap doors here, here, and here, also here. They need to all be close. Because now the mobs think, oh yeah, I can go over here, or oh yeah, I can just hop up like that. Because they don't see the difference between trapdoors and closed trapdoors. And I was thinking about this as well. Uh, we might want to expand the platform a tiny bit. And so the way it works, right, is uh, a mob that spawns out here uh, will try and randomly walk within 10 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay? So anything needs to be within 10 blocks of this row here. Otherwise some mobs will just get stuck on the side here and never move, right? Um, so we can count, I think, 10 blocks from this, well, from this block, or 7 blocks from this block. Uh, well, we'll see here. So basically, we can make a little, like if we make it like this. Seven, two, one. Then we should have two here. Maybe this is too big. Like this. Oh, let's just assume it's, it's going to be seven blocks from sort of here, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay. I'll buy that, that's, that's, that should be good. So we make like a little half circle here out of this. And that should be good. And that just gets us that, that many more spots that mobs can uh, spawn and fill up the mob cap on. How about that? And then we can reconfigure the uh, trapdoors as well a little bit, I think. Once we've done that, we just needed a couple more, didn't we? Yeah! Oh, what? Why am I building out of stairs? <laughs> that is a viable life choice though. Oh, is that, that's also a stair. What the heck? Could build this out of stairs, I suppose. Although, what would it? There are more twice. Okay, so let's get these up. And then in between uh, things in the night, we'll go here and test this out uh, again properly. We didn't really have time to do that last time. Uh, spiders need a 3x3 three three to spawn, right? So if we put a thing here, that'll prevent anything from this area here. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Like that. But at the moment, I think they can spawn in air, so they will be able to spawn here as well. And then here's a, another 3x3. Three but if we put a thing here, that's then. Oh yeah, but then we have this place. 
we'll get back to that in a second. One over like a horse. Like a knight in, in chess, yeah? And then this area here, here's a 3x3. Three three. But if we put like one there, and then one there, which should prevent that. And then one there. Alright, and then if we look here, here's a 3x3. Three three. There maybe, and there. And then this is also now, well, actually, let's take these out and go from the outside and in, maybe. Because this is a 3x3, three three, so if we put a thing here, that's fine. And then there. And then there and there. Hmm. Yeah. Well, this should be all right. This should be all right. Let's get out of here and see if uh, the phone works. Better now. There's a spider. That's not what we want. But I did say that they could spawn. <laughs> you can see the wolves there. It'll be interesting to see if they start randomly walking. That one can probably see me. That one did. That one probably did. Maybe it's the ones out on the edge there can't do it. Oh no, those can. It's this side I'm looking at now. Those guys. It's random though, and sometimes it takes a while for them to get going. You know. That one walked off. That creeper out there is also an interesting subject. Uh, but if we look on the mob cap now, it's up to 71. So the mob cap is pretty much full. So if we go in here and slay all these, we'll see what we get. So this farm, by the way, is inspired by many different sources. Um, first of all, Nembon MC has uh, figured out the random walking thing in one of his latest farm videos. Go and check that one out. And then, um, actually, <laughs> the, the shape of the spawning platform uh, is inspired by Ethos' old Enderman farm. Uh, go and check that one out too. It's a good, good fun video. Uh, it's a good fun farm, even though it's easy to make a, a, one of those farms today. The whole idea of building it on Y1 is also from uh, inspired from Nembon MC, uh, from his Enderman farm. And uh, actually, El Mango has also made a Skyblock survival uh, mob farm, just uh, just uh, the same sort of basic idea as this. Um, that it's also been a bit of an inspiration anyway for, for this farm, although most of the things are from Nembon and Etho. <laughs> okay, so now we have spiders in here, we know this. Oh, actually, we might actually have other mobs as well. Let's just poke our heads around here. Let's see. Well, they seem to have all moved out actually. Maybe. We can look from above as well, if we want to make sure. <laughs> He scared me! Oh. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh man, he scared me. Lots. He scared me lots. I hope nothing uh, went over the edge. Although I don't think we had anything like super important on, on ourselves. Uh, I think I saw something fall off, but hopefully nothing major. Our carrier, I think, went off the edge. <laughs> That's alright, we'll get another one. Now, if you sneak down like this, they can actually see you. Look at this guy now. Yeah, he saw me. Right, and if a skeleton sees you and he shoots a creeper, the creeper will explode. So be super careful and be ready to just run back if you if you sneak in this farm. That's the only sort of down, downside to it. Okay, let's see here if we can actually get up here without being scared. Skeleton. If that's all there is, we're fine. I think that's all there is. And uh, yeah, there's a spider as well. Please drop some spring, mate. Yes, thank you. Let me just get this stuff. Uh, and then we use our axe that we don't have at the moment to get out. Okay, I'm just uh, collecting up all the things from our platform here. Uh, all the things you can collect up at the moment. 
and uh, breaking down things. And I think I have a plan for what we're going to do uh, anyway here. We need basically um, some different things here. We need a, a tree farm, we need a cobble farm, we need somewhere to have our stuff and like our little base. And we need a mob platform. That's the four things we need at the moment, right? And so we're going to make a little circle shape in the middle. That's going to be like the hub. And then we're going to have four things going off of it. And that's going to be those four things that I just made. Yeah, so it's, this is our center block. Put a torch on that. Make four, five, six, seven. If we do seven by seven, we'll have a 15 big area. 15 uh, diameter area. And that should be fine. And then we need to go six blocks from here. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Alright. This lot down here is going to have to go away, I think. So that's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five. And then it's one, two, three. And it's one, two, and that's it. If we do that all around here, the ends will meet up and it will look nice. Uh, so five, three, two. Looks a bit like an ant. It's a lot of five, three, twoing. So we have uh, five, one, two, three, and two. That's actually already correct. And then finally we have, <laughs> you guessed it, five. One, two, three, two. Yeah. And just to be on the safe side, the middle should be this block here. Middle of the, the, the diagonal to summarize. And there, and there. All right, so now let's just fill this in so we don't go and fall to our demise. Then we have some bits and bobs here, and uh, yeah, we'll see how we do here. But all of the, oh my god, there was a hole under there. Why? Why was there a hole under there? What if we do another 15 circle, but with the, the ends here? And this would be the center of that one. Then we would go out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put the torch down. And then this would be the thing. This is the center. There's the diagonal center on me. that and then we would go out from this place one two three four five six seven that oh we have a visitor and then we would go one two three and then this could be a thing and then we would have to go here as well right so one also, I want to not be a zombie next time, but a spider, please. Oh, <laughs> there is a spider right behind him. Why do I want a spider, by the way, you ask? Well, it's because I want string. Because I want to make a fishing rod, I want to make all sorts of things. He, he has string, that's all right. I'm gonna chop some cobble down. And finish off this uh, this circle here, and then we'll move the cobblestone generator together. Uh, basically, this here is our center block, and uh, well, we're gonna have a fence around us as well. We're gonna do that in a second. But this uh, this here is the block I want to um, chop out. So we need it to look like if the water is on this side, we need the water to go down here. And then this here is the lava. Uh, like that. 
Yeah. And then these books we don't need uh, to be filled in. We do and what's this either? Like that. Okay, so like that is for the water. And then uh, I guess I can fill the other slabs. This here is for the lava. Right? And then we need a temporary block here so we can get it going. And now we need to go and get our bucket. Hey look at all these mobs by the way. <laughs> Buckets get the water. And this is where we want to stand and we want to just be able to go up to it like this. So that's not nice. water is in. Lava is coming. Yeah, so now we can take all of this down, except we want to keep this guy safe, right? But uh, I'll take down most of this anyway. Alright, we have three sides done. That one is not done. I'm going to wait with that one, I guess. But it's starting to look alright. So what we could do now is we could move our chest, right? And that's going to go over in this corner here. And we need to make a chest to move the chest. In fact, let's make a double chest. Um, and I don't know exactly how we're going to do. Uh, I'm guessing here is good. Okay. We could just dump everything in here. And I'm very grateful, by the way, because there has been no um, phantoms going on. So that's really nice. Just empty our inventory in here, we can sort it out later. Just to get the, all the important things safe. <laughs> uh, crafting bench in the middle, maybe. Yeah. And furnace on top. How's that? Right, and then we can take this chest away. So maybe we put one there. And then one here. Here, here, middle, we can do the middle, but then we have to put some torches around here, and then maybe even here, here, and here, how's that? Yeah, tell you how that is, that is great, <coughs> and we need to uh, put stairs or something like that around them as well and this is enderman protection in case you've forgotten enderman needs to be protected or i mean dirt needs to be protected sorry i don't think enderman are endangered as such and it's also so that we can get up and down easily okay so uh, i guess we have to move those torches again Fine. We're really snazzy. These spots here, somehow, maybe could be farms, or maybe the farm could be all this in here. That's one, two, three, four, five. That's five by five. You know what? Then we would have eight trees instead. And of course, there. Yeah. So that leaves us with this thing, and I think we'll leave that, and instead we'll focus on getting uh, a fence around this place. Uh, but I was thinking maybe this center area here could be ringed. Like, because now it's very cobbly. <laughs> uh, it could be ringed with slabs of wood instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like this. That's pretty cool, I think. And if we look from below, yeah. And we, of course, we need to do that one too. So I think, I think we're going to do that. We're going to do. Because then he will also see them from below. It's good. And then, I mean, that's all we got at the moment. But yeah, like that, all the way around. Yeah. 
Don't you think that's great, Bob? I don't know what you guys have named him, by the way. You need to do that still, because I'm still recording on the first session. So I don't... Okay, guys. Here we got it. We got the uh, fence all round. This bit here is done. And uh, yeah, we'll sort that out later on. It's fine. We'll probably make a gate here or something like that. And just leave that. And then at least when we're over here, over this way, we'll still get a few mobs spawning over there. Uh, I put up the tree farm. And I don't know if I showed that to you. Yes, I did. I built it on, on camera, in fact. This is working well. I'm thinking, I took this out. I'm going to have grass in these blocks here, I think. Or in some of them anyway. And so that's what I'm doing here. I put the bush up again. Very bush, because, you know, we need food. This is going to be the mob side of things, right? So all we have to do is move Bob here, which is his temporary name, over to the, to the side here. Uh, but uh, we're going to die when we do it, so we might as well put everything we have in our inventory in here. And just go for it. Oh, where am I? Go the wrong way. <laughs> and then we'll just do this until we are there. Mm, it's a good thing that it's night time now. If anybody knows a better way, by the way, to move this dude, let me know. I think he's alright there, right? He should be underneath this 3x3 three three of slabs. And then we can take all this stuff down. A barracks. Here we go. Bob, the new home. Much snazzier than the other one, isn't it? In it, mate. In it, mush. I could uh, stand him up and things, but I'm going to move him around later on as well, so we might as well have him in a boat. Uh, it's just easier. Alright, but thank you very much for watching guys, thank you for watching, and uh, leave a comment, how do you think I'm doing, and also if you know how to move Bob without me dying, let me know. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode, bye!